Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so I bought this kit a while back. This is the Moto King Assault Weapon Set. It is a uh, third party kit that I bought from Gundam Central. Just gonna do a quick unboxing and review of this kit. I totally don't know what's in here. I, just, I was just going off the pictures that I saw on the interwebs. But from what it looks like to me, it comes with four weapons right here. These four. Hopefully, it doesn't use one frame like just this frame and then you have to interchange in between this three right here. Hopefully, it's not like that. Hopefully, it's four different sets of weapons so real quick here it's so my first time unboxing this i'm just gonna dump this thing here i opened it up already but i still don't know what the contents are in here no there's no more so i'm gonna dump that but that's what the box look like right there boom so manual right here and i don't know what these things are ah i don't know what that is what is that uh, it looks like an LED unit. I didn't know it comes with an LED unit. Never worked with an LED, uh, LED unit yet. So I'm going to just set that aside. But apparently it comes with these metal screws right here. And the uh, LED unit right there. That's pretty nifty. Okay. So I'm going to move that aside. Sorry, my workbench is a little messy. I'm working on my Leo right now, but let me open this up here. Since this is a third party kit, it's not, you know, gonna be wrapped in one of those premium plastic bags that you're used to getting when you open up a, um, what do you call that? A Bandai kit stuff here but here you go so but let's count how many runners we have here uh this one's already loose hopefully it's not broken it just got loose right here jeez i'm gonna throw that away so there's one runner with all this broken stuff out already two two runners let's see here we I'll wrap this real quick. Okay. Throw that away. Two, three, four right there. And then this two loose things right here. Four runners. I don't let me see here. What? What? Hold up. Hold up. It's coming off five six with a couple of loose stuff already out and a green oh seven there's this green stuff right there that came with it so that's seven and then eight and nine runners right there and the manual right there so hopefully this is not going to be hard to build since it's a third party kit. Hopefully the fitment's just right. You don't have to do any kind of mods to it to make everything fit. But I'll be right back in about a second or two after I built up all the weapons just, you know, just to see what it actually looks like in person. All right. Okay, be right back. Oh, bleh. Look, quick ASMR. Ugh, ASMR. <laughs> Get it. Alright, so I'm back. This uh, entire build took me about, I want to say, five, six hours. I know it, it, it might look like it's easy to build but it's not I'm I'm just I just put that out there okay all right so we'll start with the pros the good the good things about this entire third-party kit 
it is uh, one 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 of them is the LEDs. So the way I didn't I didn't use it because I don't plan on using it uh, using this uh, kit anytime soon. But the LED that comes with this kit actually is just for the giant cannon right here. As you can see, this this is this giant cannon. Oh crap! It came off. It is very huge. It is like bigger than some people's whatever. I'm just saying, including mine. But for size comparison, here you go. Boom. That's my Iwata airbrush. So you need two of this, these things here to just cover the giant cannon. Uh, what's another good comparison? Uh, look at my RG Quant. Boom. Right there. Extremely huge. Okay. Overall, in fact, the entire, all the kits are huge. The, the uh, assault rifle, I think that's an assault rifle. And I guess the mini assault rifle, look at that. I might, you might be able to use it on an RG, maybe, we'll see. And then the sniper right here, uh, they're, they're definitely big. So size comparison, there you go. Overall, the details on these kits are very, very nice. That's, let me put this on. If I'm unable to put this on, just trust me, this goes in there, that's for sure. But look at all the details that come with that comes with this. Look, I'm just gonna leave that off. But look, this is crazy, right? It's very cool. This is the giant cannon. I'm probably gonna use this for one of my Verka kits. That's for sure. But look at all the, the level of details on this cannon is impressive, in my opinion, right? Like that, this is the assault rifle here. Look at that. There's definitely a lot of potential when it comes to painting and uh, what do you call that? Part separations, all that scientific gumpla terms that everybody uses. Look at that, look, 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 look. Look at this sniper. Oh, it would look good on a Dynamis, right? Or a gym sniper, maybe, I don't know. And there's the regular um, assault rifle. I don't know. Would this be a an assault rifle and then a bigger assault rifle? I don't know. But we'll see. You know. Now we gotta talk about the bad parts. Cause what goes up must also come down. Let me go drink a coffee first. Hold up. So, bad parts. This. Every single one of these weapons doesn't have any holes for those hand pegs to hold on to. So every single one of your kits is definitely going to have a hard time holding on to this. If you're just going to make them hold it traditionally, like holding on to look like that, like uh, like this. I'm talking about this, like that right there. It's going to be hard, right? Because you're going to have to manufacture or like carve in a hole in there to for for that support if you're if you're gonna do that because none see none right there there is none here no peg holes there no peg holes here this thing keeps coming off i need to fix this later oh right there come on go in ah whatever also that's one bad thing but there's actually more wait there's more also this kits will require a lot of filing and sanding because this is a third party kit what do you expect it's, it's definitely gonna make you appreciate what bandai is doing how good they are when it comes to fitment because this thing was a pain in the ass to put together here i'm gonna show you an example the only like right here i don't know if people can see this look at that gap i can't close that i'm gonna have to sand and file it and glue it right there Right, and you know, it's just a pain. It's just a pain in the butt. Right there, it's, uh, it took me a while. You know, that's the only reason this uh, took me five hours to build is because of the frustrations of fitment and filing and all that crap to put this all together. That's another one. This definitely will 
will test your patience. So my recommendation, if you're gonna build, if for some unknown reason you get a hold of this uh, Moto King assault weapon set, make sure that you've built multiple kits already just for the experience. Cause this, this, the instructions on this kit is not very clear. I mean, well, I'm just, I'm not, I'm just gonna point, I'm just gonna make an example. Like the, some of the parts on the kits it's very misleading when it comes to like the size and scale of it let's just this is just for example it's not necessarily this part right here but it looks like it looks very small right so you're looking for like a small part right there right but in reality it is freaking huge right this part right here is actually this thing right there because so it's it's huge so your your mind is tricked into looking for something big, like a big part because of your your years or months of experience of building Gunpla that it, it tricks you to thinking that these parts here are very small, but they're not, they're huge, okay? Also, some of the instructions are mislabeled, like this, it's not necessarily this parts right here, but I'm just making an example. Let's say this F-17 right over here, will actually be like B, B2 or A13 or whatever, you know? So there's all those, there's plenty of mistakes in these instructions that you're gonna get frustrated with. That's for sure. That's why I recommend building multiple kits first before you tackle third party kits because it's never, it's never easy. The uh, plastic finish on these kits are not very good also, but thank God, you're gonna paint these things here there's no way you can leave you can leave this as is i mean it's cool to look at when far oh shoot from far away but when you actually look up close which you probably will because you're gonna be one of you when you do your gumpla pictorials and stuff you're gonna want to have to zoom into the parts and all that stuff you're that so you're gonna have to paint this kit that's for sure but what i was saying is the the finish on these plastics are not very good okay so there's a whole bunch of scratches on these plastics here like right there and there and the finish also there's a lot of warping on the plastic we'll just take that off there's a lot of warping on the plastic I'm gonna show you an example, like right there. If people could see that, oh, above the, my iPhone there. But right there, there's warping right here. And, um, you know, it's just the overall finish of the plastics are not very good. And uh, there's a lot of not straight lines, so you're definitely gonna have to fix some of these things here if you decide to use it. All right, so overall, this is a very cool looking kit. Build-wise, it was a pain. So I'd give it a uh, five out of 10 because it requires a lot of attention to build this kit. It's not like building a regular Bandai kit, that's for sure. Um, it definitely looks very cool. A lot of details on this. So it leaves a lot of uh, options for you to do part separations right and um you know it's it's generally very cool looking it just falls apart easy so you're gonna have to do a lot of uh gluing and all that good stuff so that's it for me subscribe if you like everybody stay safe and um thank you for watching okay bye Slow hand movements.